No, I used to think the only way to help people was to talk about, you know, successes and how to get to quote unquote success and how to, you know, come up out of things. But uh, right now, I just want to make a video about what's going on. I'm not saying anything's a success. I'm not saying anything's a failure. I just want to speak about this life situation that might resonate with other people out there or just, you know, a chance for people to understand that they're not the only ones going through stuff. You feel me? So I'm over here just trying to meditate and figure out what is the next step I should do because essentially... I invested everything I had into making my business work, you know, and it did or it hasn't yet, you know, it's helped people. But as far as financially, monetarily, it just hasn't produced enough profit for me to be able to like, quote unquote, live in my even my own place, you know what I mean? Or get a car, or like do like pretty basic things. But there is no doubt in my soul that I'm on the right path and this is what I was created to do. It's just, it hasn't been financially lucrative. And that put me in a crazy position because recently, you know, I was hit with some very unexpected charges that basically cleaned out my whole bank account. And what I realized during that time was that like, there's something deeper and there's something safer to hold on to than just the money that's in our bank accounts, you know? And it wasn't until I was wiped clean, like clean, bro, that I was just like, okay, I'm still here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause before that point, you know, I was scrambling, doing all type of stuff to make sure my balance stayed up to make sure I could, you know, find some ways to get money. I was just doing all type of things, just in a very fear-based energy, you know, just, just, just very erratic, very impulsive, you know. I didn't really think through some of the things I was doing. And it wasn't until I hit that, shoot, just rock bottom, just the absolute bottom I ever been, and still realized I was alive and I had things to be grateful for, that I realized there's something much deeper than the rat race and the illusion we've come to believe is all there is. Now, I'm not saying, you know, money doesn't help because it definitely does. And I, it, it, like without it, I wouldn't be in this position I am. I mean, with it, I wouldn't be in the position I am right now, but I'm really just learning a lot from this being in this position. I'm learning a lot from, you know, the way other people think and et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, my family, of course, thinks I'm a failure, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, thinks that I'm, I'm wasting my life, you know, doing what my calling has been to do. And I can't say, you know, I might've made a mistake by going balls to the wall with no financial model or whatever as to how I was going to sustain myself, you know, doing the business I was doing, you know, creating music, you know, sending out messages to people via videos, my tweets, you know, spreading love to the world. That was the essential, <laughs> that was my business strategy, bro. Just give everything my soul had to give in every moment without any distraction, without anything holding back. And like, at the end of the day, <laughs> money did not, well, excessive money, well, enough money to, you know, be quote unquote independent did not come from that. So maybe I, sh I should have had a job the entire time, but I regret nothing. I'm glad, you know, even if I was to die today, everything I left, to the world was just was everything that I had you know everything that I had within to give which I'll, I'll never say I'm ashamed of but now I'm in a precarious position because 
now I'm basically at the point where I'm about to be homeless. And you know, this is not my car that I'm in, <laughs> you know, so I can't even live in a car if I wanted to. So I'm really at a crossroads and I'm just looking out onto this beautiful field that's in front of me. And I'll let y'all see. And just trying to, you know, ask God, like, what's, what's the next steps, yo? What should I do? <sighs> and the answer really hasn't come to me yet. Of course, you know, I'm over here working to get a job or like trying to get a job, but over the hundred places that I applied to, nothing has accepted me, you know what I mean? My folks say it's because of my hair, which might be the case. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it's not the case. But somehow something in me is even telling me maybe that's not where I'm meant to be. So I'll never look at the universe and say the universe is wrong. You know, I'll never be like, yo, this is bad. This is blah, blah. Everything I think happens for a reason and we're all put in some position for some type of reason, you know? And like, even though I don't know exactly what's gonna happen tomorrow, which has literally been the story of my life for the past few years, I'm at peace, I'm well within, you know? Because like I said, I realized there's a greater safety than money. There's a greater safety than, you know, even having a house or knowing where I'm gonna live in the next few days. There's a greater safety than all of that and just trusting the most high and just connecting within to God, the universe, the all, the oneness. It doesn't matter where I am, it doesn't matter what's happening outside of me. As long as I'm connected to that, I have no fear, you know? People all around me are so afraid. I ain't gonna say who, but there's people in my life that's been saying they wanted to die, you know? Like they're so afraid, they're so sad. They want to die. And I've definitely felt that emotion before. I've definitely felt that that kind of disparity where it's like, yo, I don't know what to do. I'd rather just not be here on earth anymore. And I know I ain't the only one who's had those kind of thoughts or whatever, or had those kind of like premonitions. And it's, it's sad to hear that because all we really need to do is connect to that God within. And it's crazy how much abundance we feel despite what our physical eyes see. Like I feel so incredibly abundant right now, just filming this YouTube video, no money in my bank account, no job, no prospects of a job, nothing, you know? my business, you know, I got my songs out there. I got all my music out there. I got my videos out there, but nothing's really generating too much money, you know? But at the same time, I feel incredibly abundant. I feel incredibly loved and I feel at peace. Now the mind will always come in and be like, Yo, but you need to have this, you need to have that, blah, blah, blah. But if this is where leading and living in my heart's purpose, in my truth has got me, I have no resistance to it. And I'll always look forward to the next day. I'll always look forward to the next moment. And I'll always appreciate the moment that I'm in. Because like I said, the truest and greatest safety is being quote unquote empty. I don't know if y'all know what I mean by that, but when we want things in life, when we're like, yo, I need to get this, I need to have that, blah, blah, blah. It's like our soul is pushing out onto the world. It's like we have agendas when we do things, you know what I mean? And people can sense that energy. Everything can sense that energy. It's like, I said in my last video, like a taking kind of energy. It's like I need to take from the world so that I'm in a better place, you know? And the opposite of that 
is connecting to that silence and stillness within where it's, it's like, I don't even want anything. Like, it's just like a space of just being, yo. It's like a space of just completely full, but completely empty at the same time. Like, no matter what outcome is happening outside of my eyes, no matter what outcome comes of whatever actions I make, they don't govern my sadness, happiness, well-being, whatever. Because for some reason, I always feel like, I always know I'm taken care of by the most high. But yeah, that's really the message for today. To anyone out there who's going through a lot, connect to the stillness within. You always have that. It's free. <laughs> you feel me? So, God bless to everyone. Hopefully, you know, I can come back with some good news for the next video. But we're going to keep living. We're going to keep thriving. Stay blessed. Stay loved. Toos.